doubles, avenging that uh, previous loss in the Indonesian Masters to Tang and Se, and also Polyan Reheyu as well, for the win over Matsumoto and Sakuramoto of Japan. Now it's the turn of the top seeds in the men's doubles. Gideon and Sukumulyo take on Ong and Teo of Malaysia, right at the very top of the draw sheet. A seventh meeting in their overall head-to-heads over the years between these two teams. And there's a Malaysian pair just down below as well. They'll take on Ranky Reddy and Shetty will go and Izudin. A couple of Japanese pairs in the bottom half as well. There's uh, another Indonesian pairing. Familiar look of Alpian and Arianto as the fourth seeds. And the Danes, of course, as well down below. But we're attending the very top little section there, Gideon and Sukumulio headlining the action in men's doubles. Oh. And they were the reigning 2019 Indonesia Open champions are uh, Gideon and Sukumulio. And these two teams met twice in the last month. And, uh, well, all six matches that they've ever encountered have been won by these two in yellow, black and white. Gideon and Sukumulio, the world number ones. And here come Ong Yu Sin and Teo Yi Yi. Incidentally, the last encounter was, uh, this is a repeat of last week's Indonesia Masters semi-final, which was a three-game affair, won by Gideon and Sukumulio, 18-21, Confirmation of the head-to-head. -head. You want the toss, what do you choose? Who serves? Theo serves. Get in the seat. Five. I didn't catch any of that. I just saw the finger waving from uh, the Malaysians that they wanted to start at the far end, and that was about it. They all walked away from the umpire pretty quickly, didn't they? Almost uh, nervously. <laughs> Marcus Fernaldi Gideon, 30 years of age, from the Indonesian capital. And I believe it's their 185th week at the pinnacle of the men's doubles rankings for these two. And his uh, partner, four years his junior, Kevin Sanjaya Sukumulio. Always entertaining the world number one duo. And their route through. It's been a bumpy one, hasn't it, by the looks of that? Needing a, an hour plus in both matches against a Korean and a Japanese pairing. But they're through, and that's all that matters. And they take on the unseeded pairing from Malaysia off of a career high world ranking of 12th in the world. Six years of age from Malacca is uh, Ong Yusin and Teo Yi, just a couple of years older, from Muar. Much improved, consistent results for the Malaysians. Three quarterfinals and a semi final over their last five tournament showings. And uh, their route through, far smoother. All Malaysian opponents en route. Good win for them over the fifth seeds yesterday, coming through 21 14, 21 17. So, uh, emphatic passage from Ong and Teo to get here. So, they're in confident form as we say hello to our umpire and service judge for the day. Both of the Malaysian matches were won out on court three, so they've had an upgrade in the court today. And uh, 
I guess it'll be refreshing that they're not playing a Malaysian pairing. But they've got the might of the world, number one's the other side of the net. A team that they've never beaten in six previous encounters. And uh, they got off to a flyer last week, the Malaysians, taking the opening game. But this week, the uh, playing conditions slightly faster. And you would imagine that that would favor these two. Kevin Sukumulio with uh, the familiar tape on his right Ladies shoulder. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Kevin Sanjaya Sukamuljo and Marcus Fenaldi. Front court playmaker, of course, is Kevin. Always dominant at the net, strong in net interceptions. And on my left, Ong Yusin and Theo Yi, Malaysia. Theo Yi to serve to Kevin Sanjaya Sukamuljo. Lavor, play. Oh, yes, lovely little reverse slice from Teo Yi. One, love. Good from Gideon Next in the front over. court. The Malaysians One, have made four. 10 quarterfinals or beyond from their last 14 tournaments. Very consistently solid. Reflected in that career high ranking of 12th in the world. Knocking on the door of the top 10. They're winning a couple of matches most weeks on tour these days. The pair in white. At the far end of your picture. Can they do something they've never managed to before and get a victory over the world number ones? They've come close a couple of times. Two, three game affairs. But he's electric, isn't he? Silver, front court. Two, See these two returning to winning ways with the Hilo Open World Tour Super 500 title. First title since the Indonesian Masters in January of 2020. And then uh, losing Five, finalists here two. last week in the Super 750 level event to Hoki and Kobayashi. But they've been having a good run as well. Oh, fantastic. It all started from that forehand cross block from Gideon, Silver. didn't it? Opening up the court Four. of their opponents. Six. That one there. And a little bit of magic from Kevin. Never goes amiss. Fourth court two. Final single quarter final. At number 26. Please welcome the tactical. Five, 
The fist for scores, too high. That's over. Seven, five. Silver, six, seven. Play from the Malaysian pair. Really bossy. Last time these two teams met, Ong Yu Sin had a cracking performance. Sukumolio there just Nine, uh, rushing eight. himself into error. That's where he's at his strongest. Theo Yi, so good in the front court. And not quite the force when he's in the back court compared to uh, when Ong is in the back court. Good hustling Eight. from the Malaysians. So it's Ong Yusin and Teo Yi with a three point lead as they head to the break. 11 points to eight. So with a hat-trick of uh, points one very recently, can they continue on their roll? Let's Rushed into over. error there. Nine, 11. Two. from Ten. Marcus for now. Lovely tight return of serve from 
on you, Sim. Oh, it was such a good proactive play, wasn't it, from Gideon? Couldn't quite find the court. Dover, 11, 13. Good pace from Gideon. 12, 13. Still one point adrift though, the top seeds here. Oh yes, terrific front court play from Theo Yi. E. He's electric around there as well. And when he's playing at the ceiling of his game, he really is quite a challenge to get past. And they've led all the way in this opening game, the Malaysians. Dictating play, very strong start from them. As they did this time last week. He's got that knack, hasn't he, of just dropping to his haunches and deflecting an offensive oncoming shot back at so much pace. That one there, so good at that. So Camulio, 24 shot rally. Oh, best rally of the match by a long way, that. Indonesia with an all-out assault. 16. Most of the way through the point, 20. but denied in the end. Longest rally of the match. Going the way of the Malaysian pair. That would feel very good to them. It's in. 17, 13. That was audacious. 19, from Theo very quick thinking. It's been a, a much bossier game than last week's semi-final first game, which they won 21-18, the Malaysians. This game looks at the moment far more emphatic. It's over. 14, 20. Well, Gideon and Sukumulio as the top seeds in the men's doubles, having lost that opening game, 14-21, are going to have to do what they've done in the previous two matches and come from behind in both of them. It's the Malaysians, Ong and Theo, who secure the game, 21 points to 14, 13 minutes.
Foot one, twenty seconds. Foot one, twenty seconds. Yeah, so, must win game for Sukumulio and Gideon. Second game. There to uh, retain an interest in this Indonesian title defence of the Indonesian Open. Down. Getting on the front foot and keeping it really bossy from the Malaysian pair. Pace from Gideon. Buoyed on by a little ripple locally. Indonesian support. It's over. Three, one. Frustration from Sukumulio back to Gideon there. They cannot let the Malaysians wriggle away to too generous a lead. Because as good as the world number ones are, they don't want to be chasing too much deficit on the scoreboard in game two, you'd imagine. industry out here isn't that really good point from the Malaysian pairing
well. Six, Even uh, Sukumuyo didn't see that serve coming. Crafty little flicker. He'd set off to uh, close the net down there, but had to retrieve it. Did well, both of them. But again, it's Teo and Ong who are twinning a little bit more efficiently right now. Momentum in men's doubles can change in a heartbeat. We've seen it so much over the years. Good play from Sukumolio getting the shuttle down Silver. below the tape. Five, six. Excellent front court work Eight, from Gideon. Seven. So good within the first five shots of the rally. seen much wizardry from this man in the front court as yet have we not been given opportunity and just on cue there he is <laughs> doesn't need too much invitation does he Oh, glorious. So visionary from Sukumulio. 11, 8, Jabal. Much better from them. 33 shot rally to secure their third point in a row, the Indonesians, as they head to the mid game interval with an 11 8 cushion. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Seven, eight, please. That was brilliant, wasn't it? The forehand shot Nine, from you Sin there to get his team out of danger. Look at this, right there, wow. Really nice. Good save from Gideon. He goes skidding along on his back to no avail in the end either. Terry, are you keen to pounce all over that? Yeah, well played. Gideon redeeming Sober. himself at the net there. Terrific. 13, 10. Wonderful straight smash from 15, Kevin Sukumulio. Loaded with pace and accuracy. Let's see it again here. Look at this. Absolutely spikes that one just inside the line. Hit with such authority. It's a really good passage of play that they're in, the two Indonesians. They're starting to take ownership of the second game as they need to. To extend their stay. Oh, that's glorious from Marcus Finaldi. And even a clap from Theo Yi there. 16, 10. Look at that. Shy, wasn't he? There's been a couple of errors creeping Seven into the game of TOE of late. Too greedy. But if nothing else, it keeps his opponents wary of the fact that he can just open their court with a generous angle like that, even though it missed. 12, 17. So another run of five points for the Indonesians then. Just uh, momentarily muted by the Malaysians. But they've looked a lot better. And Gideon's been playing a very proactive role in the front court.
Oh, lucky little nibble off the top of the net cord, favouring the Silver. Malaysian pair. 13, In the end, what a rally. A swing and a miss for Sukumulio. Too keen with that return 14, of serve, caught it too 80. far in front, didn't he? But good intensity Out. from Sukamulya. Silver, 19, 14. So on the stroke of half an hour then, top seeds with a game point to level this match. Game. Exact parity on the scoreboard, 14-21, 21-14 to Gideon and Sukumulio. They square the match and we go One on. Game, Game. Here we go then, start of game three. One game shootout for a spot in tomorrow's semi-finals. Lucky little break off the top of the net, favouring the Indonesians to start with. But I'll tell you what, Ong and Teo have much improved. It's uh, the second consecutive time now that they've taken the world number ones. The distance, it's a keen start from Marcus and Kevin here wanting to get and stay on the front foot. Strings gone for Sukumulio. Oh, that's brilliant, isn't it? And a really, really good start to game three. Carrying on with that bossy theme. Really good work from these two. Gideon has gone to the trenches, hasn't he? He's really putting in a shift here.
Oh, nicely done. Very deft touch there from Four, Marcus Fernaldi. The Malaysians can barely believe it. They thought they were controlling the point nicely, but look at that. Very high skill level, a rally of 23 shots, and he was backpedaling as well as he hit it. So uh, super balance and poise from Gideon there. man at it again that one was way behind Five. him and he somehow one. retrieved the shuttle with all of his foot speed look at this there it is right behind him saw that on our slow-mo camera great work It's a joy to watch, isn't it? All four players so in the moment, so utterly focused and intense. We're seeing some terrific rallies now, as we thought we would at the uh, more decisive end of the match. The Indonesians have done so well to turn this around and keep it moving along the way it has been. Fabulous. Well, more often than not, we're seeing Gideon at the front Six, court. Two, change. And he has good effect up there. Four points favoring the top seeds. He missed that uh, relatively straightforward smash for a man of his calibre. Struck it well, but just pulled it wide. Good decision making from Hong Yusin. He does get a little tight, doesn't he? Tioi service error. Eight, Lovely tight serve four. from Sukumulio. Davidova five eight. Suddenly, the match going through a three-point low. Uh, redeeming himself there. Six, eight. Good place from Gideon. Nine, six, By the way, at the end of this match, viewers, I'll be handing over commentary to Jill Clark and Morton Frost. They'll be taking you through the Last five matches. Plenty more quality today. Story of the sisters from Bulgaria to follow. Good work from Silva, seven, Long Yusin. nine. We've got Lokian Yu, the Momota Slayer, of course. He'll take on Vitingus. <laughs> Axelson in action as well. And a couple of uh, cracking men's doubles for you as well. Silver, ten, seven. Eight, 
total locally for that one. And again, not letting the Malaysians have much of a look. It's Indonesia that have led the way here in the name of Sukumulio and Gideon in this third game. Can they shut the door on the Malaysians? 11-8, the top seeds lead the way in game three. Well, the Malaysians pained by that response from Ong and it just leapt over the back line from the faster of the two ends. Oh. Terrific play from the pair in white. Just keeping the pressure on. Service for court too high. Service over. 13. Service for called on Ong Yu Sin. Struck too high. Well, comes a tonic to uh, Indonesian ears. Done. 14, 10. By and back behind here, look at this. And then right at his man on the floor. Very well engineered, wasn't it? By the very best in the world. sense at this stage having won the last six encounters that the world number ones are on a good footing for a seventh consecutive win good play from your sin 11 14. Oh yes, wasn't he quick there, Sukumulio? An injection of pace around the front court. There, wow, good work from the fingers. Theo Yi, wise to the flick serve, got up there in a flash.
Oh, another outrageous rally from both teams. Very high skill level. And treating the rare people inside of this uh, International Convention Center. Longest rally of the match, 50 shots. are doing such a good job, such disciplined job at keeping their opponents at arm's length. 13, Landed in misjudgment by Sukumulio. Well, he looked so utterly convincing, didn't he, in his body language, the way that he sort of ran past the shuttle there. That it was going long, but it didn't. And that could prove costly because now the Malaysians are within one point of levelling this uh, deciding game. response from Teo Yi there. Watch the shuttle like an eagle. Watch this. Almost a cartwheel from Gideon in response. Now then. Four straight points for Ong and Teo. They've really come to the party now and we've got deadlock here. They've been a fair old way adrift all of this game. 12-16 down. Terrific. And I think Teo Yi thought that that was going 16. long, but Ong Yu Sin couldn't get his body out of the way. It was blasted at him. Let's see it. Yeah, long way out. That was coming out into the commentary box, that one. <laughs> All they can do is laugh in frustration. So the top seeds stop the Malaysian run. Cap it at four points. Can they rebuild? Thank you. 
Well, that'll frustrate 16. him. He had an opportunity there to bury that one, didn't he? With all of his rangy power that he has, opted for the touch option and got it all wrong. Sukumulia wants to challenge. Well, we haven't had one for quite a while, have we? But I think this one is uh, smacks of desperation a little, to be honest. But if nothing else, gives them a chance to step off stage, have a towel down. Hang on, it was indeed wide. Well done, I beg your pardon. Bow to the supremacy of the eagle-eyed Kevin. Sukumulio, terrific. Two points from victory now with that uh, successful challenge. from Marcus Fernaldi, Gideon. 20, match point, 16. Finishing with a flurry. Wasn't he good today? He put in a real shift, Marcus Fernaldi Gideon. Both of them had to work very, very hard. And again, for the third time running, being down that opening game and winning the next two commendably in style. Match won by Marcus Fernaldi Gideon. Will it take its toll Kevin deeper Sanjaya in the tournament? Marcus Fernaldi Gideon and Kevin Sanjaya Sukumulio as top seeds find a way through in a seventh consecutive win over the Malaysian opponents, Ong and Teo. 14, 21, 21, 14, 21, 16, after 52 minutes. The first pair inking their names into the semi-finals, getting ready for tomorrow. Thanks for your company. I'll be handing over to Jill Clark and Morton Frost.
So welcome back to the Bali International Convention Centre. Quarterfinals day here at the Indonesia Open. Gideon and Sulkamolio, the two-time defending champions, coming 